morning. I'm at my home at the minute, just about to go to New Forest and have a beautiful camp there. So I will transport there. Just like that, I've arrived at New Forest. That was quick. <laughs> this has been voted, I think it's in the top 10 national parks in Europe and including the UK. And you can see why if you've been here, and if not, yeah, I'll be able to show you why. I found my first Amanita muscaria here many, many moons ago. I love coming here. I've been here a few times now, but it's been about two or three years, I think. I can't remember. I go to too many places to remember everywhere. Just came to see one of the most famous trees in the New Forest. Over 500 years old. The great Nightwood Oak. I've just made it to the tall tree trails. Lovely little walk in the new forest, surrounded by these beautiful trees. There's something very therapeutic about walking through a forest. It's just like having a pipe. It's instant, straight relaxation as soon as you arrive. Another gorgeous autumn day for me. It was raining a lot on the way down the, on the drive. I'm gonna get out of the car. Sunshine, <laughs> as always. I think one of the last times I was here, I came with about three friends and it was a bit of a crazy night. <laughs> Took some things, partied, had a dance under the trees, made a little den, made a little light disco and uh, my friend thought he lost his car key. So I was probably back at the car, it's probably midnight at this point. <laughs> and he's like, we've got to go back. I've searched a tent everywhere, we need to go back and find it. So us, on whatever we were on, walking up through the woods, find a skull of maybe a fox or something, and <laughs> my friend fell in a in a pond, dropped his phone, but his hand just went whew, straight away, grabbed it out <laughs> as soon as he could, and uh, got to the car. Key wasn't there. And we thought, well, well, we've got to go back to our tent now. We'll we'll find it in the morning, and he got back to his tent and. It was in his tent. <laughs> Thanks for the adventure tea, it was an awesome time. <laughs> We've had many adventures, many fun things happen. I think I might go back to that spot today, I'm not too far from it. Maybe have a little camp there and reminisce of the olden times. This song stuck in my head now. All the leaves are brown and the sky is grey. You can smell how clean the air is down here. It's just beautiful. I might have to do some deep breathing sessions down here tonight just to get it all in me. Oh, I've missed this place. <laughs> Look at it, it's heavenly. I love that when I come here, you normally see people around near the car park and you know, once you're in, that's it, you're on your own. Just you, nature, and a little lovely refreshing rain to cool you down. Occasional bit of wildlife popping by. And of course, many mushrooms. is back to the Arboretum Trail. Just in a big loop pretty much, but I never came up this way. Went the opposite way, back to the tall trees and off somewhere else. Don't really stick to paths to where I'm going, I just let the legs take me. And right now, we're going to the giant acorn.
Da -da -da. I wonder if squirrels ever get confused by this and try have a little nibble. Can't come to New Forest, or any forest of that matter, and not give the tree a hug. You can always feel it. They always give one back. I told that to my mates, they're like, all right, hippie. And then they done it, they're like, oh, I feel it. <laughs> it might have been on MDMA, but they felt it. <laughs> It's like a really sweet spot right here. It's got a nice river flowing through it. A little space right here. You just walk and you find spots. People have asked me, but wait, how'd you how'd you do it? How'd you find your plot spots? They're so nice. You walk and they will pop up to you on your walk. I don't plan on where to go really. I go, there's a car park. I walk that way, see what happens. But yeah, I've not found this spot before, it's really nice. Tempted to go swimming, I'd have to go nude though. And dry off. Just by running about and shaking. <laughs> Ain't got no time. It feels like it hardly ever rains on my walk, but it's finally doing it. Doing it a little bit on the kinder. <sighs> but yeah, love all weather, it's all great. Oh, it's more refreshing. Hmm. I need a stick. I want to have a go on that. <laughs> Every time I come out to Old Woods, I always find one. Every time I'm with my mate Chester, who loves them, they've always been cut down. <laughs> they look like that. When he comes with me, Chester, they're here, I promise you. It's just a three hour drive away. Probably about two days on your bike. It does not know what to do today. It's sunny, rainy, sunny, rainy, grey. Blue now. I'm gonna go check out my old spot when I was here last time with my friends. See what that's looking like. And if it stays like this and gorgeous, I'll go by the little stream. This was the party tree that we made, but it was summer, so there was a lot more to it than just this. <laughs> On the little light on here, and then you go, you come around here. This is where we set up camp. All our tents here, had a little fire here by this. And when it was night, my friend went off to the toilet that way, came back, and just went doosh, <laughs> just disappeared into that hole. <laughs> Lovely memories from here. We'll see. I don't know where I can. I might have a little tea while I'm here. I made some herbal teas up at the car. Always feels good to take that bag off. Just making that tea now. Let that boil away. I think it's peppermint, passion flower, lavender this time. Yeah, just have a nice relaxing calm and sit in this forest. Living my stress free life. Tea is good to go. Keep the bag in for extra flavour. Made a little snack to go with my tea, a little rice cake and peanut butter. Lovely. I just sat down here then. I thought some dogs were just going by, but a family of deer just ran by. I wish I'd caught that on camera. Oh, I might want to stay here tonight now just in case there's more. So I'm just relax and sit. Have a little walk with my team. I'm going down Sunny Bank Avenue at the minute. Getting all that beautiful vitamin D for free. Thank you, sir. Where does it lead? I don't know. I've not been here yet. <laughs> at least this part. It's all surprises from here. Maybe a nice new spot, we'll find out. So many deer around here, I just seen one. It was right up there and then I just stepped in a puddle and he looked up and ran. I'm going deer hunting. Not to eat them, just to see them. Got about an hour and a half until the sun goes down. I've found a couple spots already, but we'll see what else I can find if anything else comes my way. Well, I'm sipping on this gorgeous herbal tea. Look at that. Beautiful sky again. 
with a, with a hint of cloud over there. Unfortunately, I'm too late to the party. Look at all this uneaten chicken of the woods that has just gone to waste. Could have had that for my tea for a week. <laughs> Loads of it. Managed to get quite a bit this year of chicken of the woods. It's really nice when you find that. Nice tasty mushroom to eat. I finally found some. Check out those antlers. What up my furry friends? Oh my god, is that a white one? Yeah. Don't hide behind that tree, you're still pretty. We've got the whole family out again. They're the ones that look like they ran past me when I was making the tea. I've seen uh, many deer in my life, but it always just makes me go, oh. stop, slow down. It's so nice to see them. Hmm, I think I'll go up here. That's quite inviting. Hello, little guy. I'm not gonna hurt ya. I was going to my camping spot, but I think I fell in love with this little furry guy. Hello. That's the closest I've ever got to a, a wild deer before. That was really nice. I think he knew I weren't, weren't going to harm him. just wanted to be his little buddy. But I've left him to it now. Got some really good pictures. I'll pop them up and show you what they're like as well. Now I can get back to finding my spot. <laughs> I like to have my moment with my dear. It's just made the portrait worth it, just for that bit. I've arrived home at the new forest. Came to the lovely Carmen stream. Seeing it, I thought, yeah, this is probably where I'll be camping. Lovely. Gonna make some nice dinner now. On Riverside Cooking, we have got a beautiful tomato lentil smoked paprika soup. Enjoyed right by this lovely little stream in the beautiful new forest where my home is just there. Could it be more perfect? Probably not. Welcome to my evening at the riverside. I was going to show you the first star or planet, but the clouds just covered it over now. Oh well, look at the beautiful cloud instead. 